Hello YouTube, this is Gas here aka Fazir and welcome back to another episode of how to make a car in Google SketchUp 8. As you can see this is not SketchUp 8 which you can tell by the toolbar above. Recently I've updated my SketchUp 8 to SketchUp 2014. So if you want SketchUp or just want to update it, download links will be in the description below. Another thing I want to mention is, if you press on view, go to toolbars, a window will pop up. This window will allow you to choose what type of tools you want to see on SketchUp, like the toolbar above. If you uncheck getting started, the toolbar that you start with in Google SketchUp will disappear. I'm going to go ahead and pick out my personal toolbars that I would use for this project. One of the toolbars I have chosen is the large sheet board, which you can see on the left hand side. I have chosen this because you have a drop down menu for these two, but you have them right in front of you on the large toolbar. The next one is the view toolbar. This allows me to change from view to view and find the perfect view for my project. So now, let's get started. So first off, you can select your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so. You can also use zoom extends to zoom into your model. At first, I felt like trying something new, so I tried the arc to make the front of the car, but that did not work out well. So I stuck to the old fashioned two point arc to make the front of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my design. If you have watched my previous episode, you know I have started again. The reason is, when I was recording part 2, I found out a problem on the car. The problem was, I could not move the flat surface on the car with the push and pull tool. The solution is in the video, and I will tell you later on in the video. Is your car too short? Is your car too long? Well, use the scale tool to make your car bigger and the height you want. By the way, use control with the select tool to select all your lines. Now you can use the eraser and erase the background. you can use a push and pull tool to stretch out your car which will make the first layer of your car. Next is what you want to do now is use a push and pull tool again but this time by holding control. Okay, here's a solution to the problem. Instead of using the move tool to manually move each point down, you can use the scale tool to be more accurate and to carry on with the next step. Well now you can go ahead and make as many layers as you want, but seriously, when you need to stop, 
and you know when to stop, seriously, you should stop. Otherwise, you'll end up something like this. You can also go ahead and do what I do, because, like, yeah, if that's your choice. Or after watching this video, you can magpie some of my ideas and go ahead and make your own car of your desire. Seriously, magpie wasn't a good word to use there. Again, we are only making half of the car. Once we're done with this half, we can duplicate it and put it together. Looks like we have come to an end of this video. Join me next time for some more Google SketchUp tutorials. Subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you soon. Bye!